Don't worry. Don't worry. You've got the right show. This is not outdoors with Sean Merrill. This is your tailgate talk. Hey, I'm Blake. So I know this may be looking, this may look a little confusing to you. We're in the woods. We're on a olive co colored uh, gator. And you may be thinking, what in the world? I see the overalls, but I don't see Sean. This is not outdoors. This is, this is, this is your tailgate talk, so don't worry. But we are in the woods. Sorry to disappoint you. We are in the woods. Um, I wanted to I wanted to talk to you today about uh, about trails. See, this is this is a wooded part of our property, and um, there's a fence line that goes all the way around these woods. Now, uh, this is a this is hunting land uh, that mainly my oldest sister and one of her daughters that they're the big hunters in the family now. <laughs> And, uh, and they hunt this mainly. But there's a fence that goes all the way around this and we used to have a drivable trail all the way around that fence trail, all the way around these woods. I mean, you get on a four wheeler, a tractor or whatever, and you could drive all the way around these woods to check fence, to make sure a tree hadn't fallen on the fence, whatever. You could go all the way around to make sure someone hadn't cut the fence to come in to hunt. I mean, that's happened before. All the way around these woods, no big deal. From the comfort of the four-wheeler or the tractor, we kept it bush hogged. It was awesome. And over the course of many years, uh, that this trail has um, it's fallen under disrepair. And uh, there's a stretch of it that's kind of cleared back out, but the rest of the trail around the woods is not accessible anymore. So I've made it my mission this winter when deer season's over i can't do it during deer season you know because uh that'll get me in some pretty serious trouble with the two female deer hunters in the family i, I i'm going to clear this trail back out <laughs> this winter and we're going to have an accessible trail again to check fence that's my mission this winter it's my mission i'm going to do it it's important to check fence and it's important to have a clear trail it's so much easier when you can just drive the fence line, right? It's so much easier when your path is is not full of obstacles. The writer of Hebrews wrote it this way. He said um, that we should um, fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, right? Uh, who for the joy that was set before him despised the shame and endured the cross. Now, I want you to I want you to think about that because before before the author of Hebrews ever started to focus on Jesus and, and before he ever started to talk about fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author, perfecter of our faith, he wrote verse one. Now I didn't quote to you verse one. I just started with verse two. But you know what verse, verse one says? Before he ever started to do the other part, here's what he said. He says, "Let's lay aside the sin." The sin that trips you up, that so easily besets us. Lay aside that sin and run with endurance. And how do we run with endurance? We fix our eyes on Jesus. You see, it's so much more productive. And it's so much simpler to run this race when you, when you clear that path. It's so much simpler to run that race. It's so much more productive to run that race, pursuing Jesus, doing what God has called us to do, when we clear that path of all those obstacles, when, when just like this trail that I'm going to clear this winter, when, when we get out, when, and, and, and man, it's, going to, it's not going to be easy. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to be a lot of hard work this winter. I'm going to be out here with the chainsaw, with the tractor. We're going to be cutting trees and clearing them out of the trail. I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be a long winter working out here clearing this trail, but it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it because then every time we come check the fence, we're just going to get on the gator. We're just going to drive the trail. It's going to be great. And then we're just going to maintain it with the bush hawk. It's going to be great. The work you put in to clear the trail, the work you put in to lay aside that sin, the work you put in to say, you know what, there are things in my life that will trip me up as I'm pursuing Jesus, and it's not worth it. 
is worth it. To put in that work to say, I, I want to lay those things aside so I can pursue the one who loved me enough to lay down everything on my behalf. Check the trail. Because it makes checking fences a whole lot easier. Hey, I love you, and I sure do appreciate you for, uh, for joining me today on the tailgate. Little shout out to, to, uh, to Sean and his show, Outdoors with Sean Merrill. Love you, man, and love what you do with your outdoor show. I've had to kind of pick on you. I didn't really pick on you uh, in the beginning of the tailgate talk. Um, if, you haven't, if you haven't watched any of Sean's outdoor shows, check them out right here on LifeWords um, uh, Facebook page and also on LifeWord.org. It's an awesome show, and I think you'll enjoy it. Hey, thanks for joining me today on the tailgate. I'm going to save you a seat right here. Join me next week. We're going to be right back. You never know where we're going to drop the tailgate and have a chat. Until then, love you. Have a great week.